Well, this isn't our first brush with winter weather this season, but after such a mild stretch, the cold reality of winter is about to set in. Our Bill Hudson joins us live from St. Cloud, where MnDOT crews are getting ready. Bill, how are things going up there? Yeah, and that wind that Chris was talking about is really starting to pick up here in the St. Cloud area. I'll try not to tip over, Frank. You know, we, you spoke of that uh, first snow that we had about a month ago. There's still uh, remnants of it out here in these parking lots, dirty, albeit. Uh, it's sure to be a little white this morning because as that drizzle starts uh, freezing tonight, it's going to begin piling up. And then it, it swivels, so it'll go back and forth. With a simple push of the plug into her still soft soil. All there is to it, I hope. Carol Binyak just did her holiday lighting. It lights up the house, you know, puts stars and that dancing on the house. It's just something new I wanted to try. But up and down her St. Cloud Street, holiday decorations look lonely well, deflated, out of place without a little snow. She admits it's hard feeling the spirit. The nice weather, you kind of forget about it being Christmas coming in there. So you get, oh, wow. Otherwise, if it was colder and snowy, we'd have more done. But after a long spell of warmer temperatures, the hammer is about to fall. We're expecting a pretty wide mix of weather to blow in. At MnDOT St. Cloud headquarters, 23 plow trucks and their drivers are ready to roll. As this weather blows in, at some point we are expecting it to turn into pretty slick roads. Um, certainly for tomorrow morning's uh, commute, it'll be that way. As the rain turns to ice and into snow, XL Energy says be prepared for scattered power outages, but mostly just slow down, be safe, to avoid spoiling the season that's been slow to arrive. They keep saying we're getting about five inches of snow, but we've had more. It's been worse. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a lot worse, but uh, it is a good idea because uh, we don't have those winter driving skills down quite yet to slow down, give those plows plenty of room. They're nothing to mess around with. And they also tell us, uh, Frank, that uh, they expect that this snowfall is going to freeze to the roads and probably bind to the roads. So be uh, cautious for icy road conditions as well. Already they're advising no travel out in the uh, western Marshall uh, area because it is getting so windy out there. My goodness. All right, uh, Bill, live in St. Cloud. Yeah. Thank you.